have you thought about getting an electric vehicle? If so, you are not alone. Demand for EVs is way up, which also means demand for a metal used in battery powered cars is also increasing. Cobalt can be found in the state of Idaho, which is drawing mining companies from all over the world to the gem state. In fact, a new cobalt mine opens in the Salmon Chalice National Forest on Friday and our Abby Davis learned more about it. Abby. Morgan, I'm told this mine is the only mine in the U.S. that's primarily mining cobalt. EV batteries are made with cobalt, but mining for the metal could potentially harm the environment, a negative consequence mine leaders say they're trying to avoid. Cobalt, a metal in high demand. Cobalt is pretty essential for many types of electric vehicle batteries. Um, and as we know, electric vehicles are very much on the rise. It's also a metal Idaho Conservation League spokesperson Josh Johnson says Idaho has a lot of. There's a, a geologic area known as the Idaho Cobalt Belt. Um, it's a, a strip of um, cobalt deposit um, basically in, in the rocks um, to the west of Salmon. Um, that is one of the biggest cobalt deposits um, anywhere in the U.S. That deposit drew the attention of Australian-based mining company Gervois. The company says they've been mining for about a year already, but will officially open the Idaho Cobalt Operations Project in the Salmon Chalice National Forest on Friday. Mine manager Matt Langrick says Friday is a chance for the company to celebrate how far they've come. It's actually the only primary domestic cobalt mine in the United States. What that means is that while other mines do get some cobalt as a form of byproduct, we're actually mining entirely because of the cobalt. Right now, the mine will run for seven years. Langrick says they'll produce something called cobalt concentrate. So it comes out in a form that looks about like sand. That cobalt comes out at about 2,000 tons per year. So over the course of seven years, we'll produce a little more than 16,000 tons. 16,000 tons of cobalt means a lot of EV batteries. The amount of cobalt that we're producing has the ability to supply roughly 400,000 electric vehicles a year, or about 2.8 million in our current life of mine. But mines can also harm the environment. Johnson says this mine is located near the inactive Blackbird mine site, which contaminated several watersheds and closed in 1982. It got to the point where Panther Creek, which is the main, a main tributary to the Salmon River in this area, um, was basically devoid of aquatic life. Like, you know, fish couldn't survive there. You know, aquatic or organisms like little bugs and things couldn't survive there. Um, because the concentrations of metals were too high in those streams. Johnson says he's hopeful this time will be different. In an ideal world, um, with the this, this standards and safeguards they have in place, um, you know, they should not be negatively impacting water quality, things like that. doesn't mean it can't happen, um, but, you know, it, it shouldn't be happening if everything goes according to plan. While mining and environmentalism don't traditionally go together, he says mining cobalt is a bit of an exception. I don't think it would be appropriate for us to stand here and say, oh, no, no mining. Um, you know, we can't mine this cobalt. While on the other hand, advocating for electric, more electric vehicles. Sustainable mining is something Langrick says they're committed to. We have rigorous permits, rigorous monitoring programs in place that make sure that what we're doing is, is held to the highest environmental standard. And it's something that we're really passionate about. In case the mining operation contaminates any water nearby, the company built a water treatment plant. Langrick says they don't plan on using it, but it's there just in case. Okay, so this mine officially opens on Friday, but when do they expect to start shipping that cobalt that they mine? Yeah, well, I wasn't given an exact timeline, but Langridge did tell me they're planning on later this year. Now, something interesting is that here in the United States, there isn't a processing plant for cobalt, so hmm. that will be in Brazil. Okay. So everything will be shipped to Brazil and then sent back to the U.S. And then That's a lot of work. That's a lot yes. of production. And, and as we were talking about earlier, I know in the newsroom, it's really a double-edged sword with this, uh, these EVs because some of the ways in which they mine these things aren't necessarily sustainable, but the EVs are a more renewable source. So, yep. yeah. All right, Abby Davis, thank you.